Hello, this is Ami Diamond. In this episode, I'll like to show you what is Microsoft or Shifts. Shift is something that is supposed to support you to manage Shift to assign people according to dates. And um, most people don't know what it is. It's actually uh, as part of the Microsoft Teams. So let's uh, see how we can do it. So um, if I don't see shifts here, I can click on the three dots in Microsoft Teams. I'm on the desktop, but it's available also on the web. And if I don't see the shift here, I can search for it. And then I could choose it. If I want this to keep uh, for the next time, I can right click and press pin and next time it will be here. Here I see actually all of the teams that I have created previously and I can create a team. So um, before we create the, the shift, we need to create a new team. So let's go to teams and I will uh, press the join or create a new team. I'll, I'll click create team. I'll click it from scratch. By the way, there's also uh, templates that I can choose. Microsoft provides. I'll take a blank, go back and actually just take a blank one from scratch. I can choose if it's private or public. Public, it means that all of the organization will have access. So let's make it private. Let's give it a name. Let's call it a USA. Description is doesn't matter. Nice work. Okay, the team is created. Now we can assign actually uh, the members. We can close this. This is the team that was created. If I click the three dots, I can manage the team and I can add some members. So we first need to add members in order that the shifts will also be there. So I'll add Alex and I'll add a Ligu. In this case, uh, the members, if I want, I can make them owners. So I am the owner and there's two members, uh, Alex. And now that the team site has been created, I can go to a shifts app and I will search for the team that was created. So there's a team that we created called USA. I'll press create. It will ask for my time zone and uh, city. I'll press confirm. And now it will build actually the schedule um, of the shifts. So as we see here, we see the calendar. We see 14, 15, 16, 17. And we have here uh, groups. Within the groups, we can assign people. So let's rename this group and call it, I'm clicking on the three dots and rename group. And I will call it a South. Here I can create, okay. Now I can assign people to, to this uh, group. So I'll go here and press add people. See, I can add Alex. And now he, he is here. Um, for adding a new, totally new group, you see we have the add group. Create it, I can click the three dots and I will call it North. And here I can assign uh, Ligu, which is um, now within the, the date that we uh, I want, I can assign the person. So I'll click the three dots and I will click add shifts. Here we see automatically that the user has been added here. I can choose the color that I want. I cannot rename that, but I can choose the color. 
hopefully in future it will be possible to to change and give a name i can choose the shift from eight to to five i can give a description so let's call it um, demo one and here i can give even more information uh, this is a test okay so i'll press save now you see that this um, shift was assigned to alex it has a star that means it's in in edit mode if you want to publish it that everyone will see then we can click the three dots and we can press share or if we have multiple shifts then we can go here share with the team and we can decide from which day to which day do we want to share it and will it affect the team the notification or only those users that uh, that the change has been affected so i'll press this now the star is down now everyone can see it um now in addition uh it's possible instead of manually doing it I can mark it and do control C let's do again control C and control V and I have copied it and uh, by the way there, there is a copy and paste but if I want to mark multiple I can click the first one well, click shift now or control Mm -hmm. I can mark it like this so both of these are marked I'll do con control C and I'll come here and I pasted it somewhere else um, so this is the functionality um, it's possible also um, to request the uh, time off so if I come here I can add the time off I can choose the color the color needs to be decided and then I can choose what type of uh, time off I want this list can be maintained in the settings I'll show you later um, and uh, so I, I'm requesting a holiday and I'll press save and I need to publish it now sometimes requests will come to here now it's possible in this request tab that people ask for time off or something and then it it is sent to the uh, site owner to approve so let's say i'm asking for time off between on the 17th i need a sick day i send the, the request now it's pending all uh, site owners will receive this and only when it's approved it will be added um, here are the settings where you can define the time zone the schedule you can add here new requests so i i can call this a demo and i can choose an icon and um, i can define when the week starts and other things and to if I want to use time clocking I can click here uh, additional things we can do here is we can move or arrange the, the the users within the group but we can't move them from group to group uh, if we want to move them we actually need to um, yeah, delete them Um, what else what else okay so we can see the, the shifts by day view by week view or by month view let's keep it in week possible it's possibility to to print and uh, okay um, there's a possibility to copy this week or uh, a range of dates and to copy it to another period 
So here we have between the 14th and the 20th. I can say I want to copy it from the 20th um, one time. So let's see what it does. So this is the week of the of the 14th until the 20th and the next week is now copied and um, let's see what else we have uh, we can filter you can see I can filter only by one group or by two groups I can uh, also filter by one member uh, all active uh, time off okay uh, let's clear it now there's a possibility also what's called um, to define uh, open shifts you see here I can for this say click the three dots add open shifts I can say I need a slot of three three people yep so I have here, it says uh, multiple and three. And now if I come here, I can, sorry, sorry. I can from here add, assign an open shift. See, so I can say, okay, this is the first one. This is the second one. So this way, and it says I have one shift open still. So this is, now the last thing that we have here, we have also the possibility in the view, we can see it according to shifts or by, by people. You can see only your, your shifts. Last thing is in the three dots, you see, I can see, I can export the information. So if I click this, it will ask me which range and what to include and actually it's bringing it down so let's click it we can look at it and uh, you see it even comes with the colors of the shifts who are the people what is the group and uh, what type of shift time off. Uh, in addition, what we see here is in the three dots, we can import a schedule. There's a template here. Let's look at the template. That once you fill it out, you can uh, upload it. Let's close this. Okay. Let's go to the downloads. This is the sample file. So you see here, this is the temp template. We can add the, the users and the mails, and then this can be uploaded to this menu here. Click here, choose the, the file. And then, uh, so in summary, um, the shift is a, a good tool for managing uh, shifts. You can uh, assign users uh, or create groups, assign the people. Um, uh, the users can also request for time off. And uh, there's a, a mode where you edit and then there's a mode where you share it and then ev everyone can see. Um, one remark is that only the site owners can create the, the shifts. Uh, the other people um, can only view. Um, but as you saw, uh, you cannot go directly to the shifts and add the people. You first need to create a team site, a team, team's team add the members and then go to the shift and create the, the first time. I um, hope this is a, something that helped you.
uh, and see you in the next episode if you like this video please subscribe to my channel have a good day bye bye